Today I want to tell you about the Brown Silk Expert Pro 5, an IPL hair removal system that I've used for the last 12 months. This is a device that is meant to help you get rid of your body hair in a permanent or semi-permanent way. And I know how videos like this helped me so much when it was my time to make a decision whether to invest in this device or not. So I thought I would give you my 12 month review and tell you everything you need to know about this product and the results I got. I would like to start out by explaining what IPL is. IPL stands for Intense Pulsed Light and it is different than laser because laser is a condensed light that goes into your skin and targets the hair while IPL is a dis dispersed kind of light so it is less intense and it's also not a permanent solution for hair removal but rather semi-permanent but that's why it is safe to do at home while laser is not safe to do at home and you always need to go to the clinic to do it it works better for lighter skin tones with darker hair because the way it does basically it detects the black or the dark in the skin and targets it to destroy it so it is mostly effective for very pale skin tones with dark hair it is not recommended for blondes for people who have a blonde body hair or red body hair white body hair of course and also it is not recommended for the darker deeper skin tones i would like to tell you about my device i got the brown Sil silk expert pro 5 the difference with the pro 3 which was a generation before this device is that this one is 50 percent faster so the flash speed is twice as fast delivers more energy to the skin which means it is more effective in theory it has a UV protection filter, which was something that was very important for me. As someone who's very pale skin, who's very prone to have a lot of freckles and burning, I really wanted a device that would definitely protect my sensitive skin from the UV rays. I was willing to pay a little bit more in order to get that. That's why I went with this machine. This specific model also came with an extra head that I will show you. So besides the bigger head that is used for, for example, your legs, your arms, so for bigger areas it also comes with a very small head that you can use for example in your face or in other smaller areas of your body that was the box and here this is the little pouch that it comes in it has a manual of instructions that I highly recommend you read before you do any treatment because it also explains how you should do a sensitivity test before you use it in a large area it does not come with glasses. I bought these glasses off of Amazon, but to be honest, I wore them maybe twice because if, as long as you do it in a well-lit room during the day, it will not hurt your eyes. It is not laser. Laser, you really need to protect your eyes. But for IPL, as long as it's well-lit, you will not feel your eyes getting hurt or in any way. But you have to plug it into the wall. No worry, the card is pretty long. I was telling you about the precision head. So this is the head that comes with it. It is pretty big. It allows you to take care of big areas, like in some sort of speed. But this model that I bought also comes with this smaller head that is more appropriate for smaller areas, more sensitive areas. And you insert the other one, just like this. It's very easy. I bought it online and I paid about 350 euros for this model. Uh, there was the other model with just one of the heads was cheaper, but I decided to go with both just because I thought it would be worth it. But honestly, I don't think you need both. I think you can do, if you really want to save, you can do with just this one. It's perfectly fine. I like to have this one as well. I think it adds some value. Looking back, I don't regret it. I read so many reviews online and also because I think I would be the perfect candidate for something like this since I'm so pale and I have very dark hair. I decided, you know what, like I am willing to give it a shot. I really believe it will work out for me and I am ready to not have to worry about hair anymore 
and I am also very committed. I will stick to the treatments because I really want this not to be a, an issue anymore for me. Now I want to show you how I use it. So first of all, let me show you the machine again, a little bit more up and personal. This is the precision head, smaller head, as you can see, here is a machine. I will now do my arms to show you and basically I'm switching to the bigger to the bigger head and this is the cord it's really really long this is my arm this is with about one month of treatment okay it's like pretty pretty perfect and i mean i'm i'm portuguese from the mediterranean we have arm hair okay so i'm really surprised i was really afraid to start doing my arms because the idea of putting a razor on my skin terrified me because i thought i don't want to have ever i don't want to risk it i don't want to risk it that it doesn't work and then all of a sudden i have a beard on my arms like i don't want that but actually i'm pretty happy because my skin is really really soft and that's also the thing I didn't mention before about IPL is that, as I said, it targets the pigment in your skin, inside the skin, right? The, the hair follicle inside the skin. You cannot actually do waxing, for example, because the waxing removes the follicle and therefore when the light goes in, it has nothing to grab onto, it will not destroy the follicle. What you want to do is that you want to, the light to hit the follicle, it over the course of the treatments it will hit it several times it will become weaker and therefore then it stops growing or in this case because it's a it's an IPL not a laser it will grow way less often like you know once every six months ideally so now I'll start the machine you just press on the feather sign it's quite loud indeed and then I also want to show you you have three three different lights and this signifies the intensity so light one now it's two light one is the softer intensity so if you're afraid if you're just starting out maybe if you've shaved your whole life and you have kind of thicker hair i would recommend you testing out with one and then as you start progressing in the treatments and it stops you know being uncomfortable you can try the mode two and then finally mode three and this is the mode that you should aim for because this is the full intensity and honestly it's not painful especially like if you've done it already a few times it's not painful at all and uh, yeah it's it's totally fine so now we'll do it and also something else that i want to show you is that it is actually a very safe thing so it will not fire if you are not in contact with something and for example here i can show you it's not in contact with anything there is no light there is no and what it says here i don't know if you'll be able to read it it says sensor adapts basically what it is saying is that it is measuring the tone of your skin so if you're very really pale like me you will say that you'll see that everything will be lit, lit because it is able to go to the maximum potency without hurting me because I am so pale. If maybe you have more like medium skin tone but it is still allowed to use this machine then maybe it will not light all the way up because it doesn't want to hurt you, you know? So as you can see it's red because it is not fully, I'm not fully covering the, 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 part, the, the sensor so it would could hurt my eyes you know because i'm not covering it the light will go out and if i actually cover it well then as you can see it is fully lit and it would now fire so just to just so that you know when you start doing it uh, unless it is fully like it will not fire and that's why sometimes i'm doing it i'm watching tv and then it doesn't go and then i need to you know because i'm not actually doing it properly so yeah I will da no, now do my arms, I start like this. Also be careful, for example, I have a tattoo here, it's black. Never do it on tattoos, okay? That's really important because I don't know what would happen, but I'm guessing you would probably burn yourself. So you cannot do that. Because as I said, it targets the, oh, it targets the black on white, right? So that's definitely black on white, uh, black tattoo. 
on my very white pale skin. As I said, it, didn't, it doesn't really hurt my eyes because it's a very well lit room. I still, I try not to look like if I, if I can, I just look like to make sure it is well positioned whenever I change, but I try not to like stare at it as I do it. She says while well, she stares at it. Also, I have a lot of freckles like in my, in my skin. I try to stay out of the big ones basically. Just because, I mean, actually it even doesn't, I wouldn't say stings a little bit, but you feel it. If you go over like a big freckle, like dark freckle, you will feel something. While if you just, you know, like you can see I'm talking to you, I'm doing it like, I don't, I don't feel anything. The first time I did it on my arm, I did feel something, but now I don't feel it anymore. And also, um, yeah, maybe like the second time or so that I go over the same area, I feel something but it's not like painful. I forgot to share something that I learned and I picked up from my back from my laser treatments in the clinic is that I recommend you using a mitt like a soft gentle mitt always when you shower but like just it is a little bit it doesn't really hurt but it's a little bit rough to like exfoliate the areas that you treat so don't do it like maybe for the two days after the treatment because your skin is going to be a little bit sensitive but let's say day three day four depending on how how fast your skin recovers always whenever you shower pass the mitt. It doesn't need to be really hard just pass the mitt in your skin because it helps the hairs that will be really um really weak it helps them be released from your skin and I noticed a major difference whenever I use the mitt my skin stays hair free for way longer than if I just for a month I'm lazy and I don't use a mitt when I shower because then the hairs even if they're there, like probably you can literally like do this and like pluck them out because they are so thin and weak they're they're you know their follicle is really weak you can just pluck them out but still they will be there so just use the mitt and then you'll have none of those problems that's my recommendation and moisturize after the treatment okay and also always but moisturize after the treatment because your skin will be sensitive and moisturizing will basically solve it and also that's what makes your skin be super soft and pretty so just do it one of the next questions that i think people ask about this is how long does it take it really depends on which area you are doing your whole legs probably would take you at least 20 minutes i like to pass the light at least two times in the same area so therefore 30 minutes rather armpits it's very fast you just need maybe eight flashes and you're done so i would say that's like five minutes if you do your face then i would say it's rather like one minute because in the end all you need to do is just do the flashes it's each flash is about one second if you do it in a higher potency possible it is perhaps every two seconds that you can flash it so that it doesn't hold overheat and now we get to the root and the main part of the video which is does it work and would i invest in this again do i recommend it what is my 12 month review for this product does it work yes it does work it does work this is maybe the best investment i've done when it comes to you know you put money money into something you hope it works yes it delivers what is promised i don't have to worry about my hair growth anymore i am basically always ready to go i can throw any outfit on and i don't need to worry in general however as i said in the beginning this is not a permanent solution so yes i can confidently say that my skin looks perfect like dreamt that i wanted my skin to look like you know like smooth perfect no prick prickiness no strawberry look to it However, I do need to go back to the machine and kind of do maintenance treatments and how often I need to do the maintenance treatments really depends on the area. The lower part of my legs perhaps once every six weeks, once every eight weeks, I would go and do a maintenance treatment just to make sure that everything stays as it is. My upper part of my legs 
my ties. I would say maybe every three weeks I would go in and do a maintenance treatment, maybe every two weeks if I really wanted to be perfect. On my armpits, maybe also once every six weeks. My arms, I actually just started maybe four weeks ago, so I'm trying to do it every week as it is recommended. The treatment plan recommends that in the first 12 weeks of treatment, you do it every single week. And I think it's very easy because it's so fast to do it. So I'm still in that phase and I've been seeing amazing results. Overall, I would purchase this again in an heartbeat. I wish I would have purchased this rather than so many sessions of laser and waxing that I did that, I mean, they worked, but it just doesn't compare to the investment I did in this versus the result that I actually got. And I really recommend it if you are in fact a good candidate for it based on the skin tone and the color of your hair. Please visit the website, they have a lot of information about it to make sure that you have a good experience if you do decide to purchase this product, it is an investment that you actually do not hurt yourself and also that you get the best possible results. I will leave the links down below so that you can read more about the machine, you can decide if it is the good, a good fit for you. Also if you want to purchase it, I will leave an affiliate link down below. So that is it for today, thank you so much for watching and we see you next time for another one. Don't you wanna have fun? Fool around someone Don't you wanna have fun? Don't you wanna have some fun? Yeah, these babies said that they don't got a future Future like